Hi, I'm George, and we'll be looking at the Photoshop Elements Preset Manager and how you can use this to control the presets for your brushes, swatches, gradients, styles, patterns, and effects. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share as well, and also subscribe if you haven't already done so. When you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay? Let's get to it. The preset manager allows you to control what shows up when you first look at these different areas of Photoshop elements. It also allows you to add more to one of these sets. You can even rename or delete a set. First off, I'll close this down and show you where you'll find the preset manager. Go over to the edit menu and come down here and the preset manager is right there, right above preferences. Click on that and here's your preset manager. Let's go through this one section at a time. The default up here, the top one is brushes, so we'll look at that first. Now if I bring up the brushes, I have to close this down. Let's bring a brush over here, paintbrush. And right here we have our brushes. Click on that. This is your preset right here. I'll just scroll down through here. Here's all those brushes. Now these are showing as brush stroke and the brush on the left hand side. You can control that over here. I have mine set for a stroke with a thumbnail right there. You can bring your preset manager up again here as well. It's a fast way to do that. And again, here are those brushes. This is just showing the thumbnail of the brush but not showing the stroke. So you could be seeing a different display here than you do over here. Also notice when this preset manager is open, you can't do anything else. So this locks everything else out. Let's say I wanted to use a different brush set. I can go over here, click on this little icon right there, and here are all of the different brush sets that I have available, including the logos one that I made in a previous video. Let's say I want to have the special effects brushes showing up by default. So I'll click on that one. That now shows in here. Then click Done. And now if I go over here, notice that the special effects brushes are what shows up. So I'm able to use that preset manager to show me the brush set I want to see when I first open up the brushes right in there. So it allows you some flexibility on what you're seeing. Now it does mean you can't always change this. Click on the list right here and I can then change my display brush set to anything else I want. I'll just go ahead and I'll do the drop shadow brushes right there or the natural brushes in here. So you can choose any brush that you want very quickly and easily. But what you can do with the preset manager is to decide what shows first. You know, what's your standard brush set that's being displayed. I'll just reset this back to the default. So that's reset brushes right here. And another reset. If we go back again here to the preset manager, notice that this also has reset as well. It's now showing the default brush set. Now a few things you can do in here. Right hand side, I can change the view in here. I have text only like that. Small thumbnail. Large thumbnail small list or large list or the stroke thumbnail. So you have different ways of looking at your brushes in here and you have similar options for the other tools as well. I'll do this at the standard setting which is the small thumbnail right there for the brushes for the preset manager. And notice over here it's showing these small brushes here, little small thumbnails. Down here it's showing the brush strokes. So you can have these with different settings. Click on done there for a second. Same options over here, little pop-up menu text only, small thumbnail, and so forth. So you can choose different ways of looking at this. And this is the basic one, kind of works out pretty well. Having your brush stroke in here, and on the preset, seeing the actual brush right there. So you have those options. You can reset your brushes again here, and of course, here is where you change which brush set shows up as your default brush set. On the right hand side, we have a pinned. This allows you to attach more brushes on top of your currently displayed list, basically taking one set and adding it onto another set, moving a larger set. Now if I do a pin, the same one, there's my logos brush, that just adds that brush set onto the bottom of the currently displayed brush set. And I can also save this new set under a different name, I can rename it, or I can delete this brush set as well. Okay, that's our brushes. Next down here we have these swatches. Let me bring up our swatches. Get that out of the way. And go up to Window. And then come down to Color Swatches right there. And here's our color swatches. Now you can make this larger if you want to. Just grab the bottom right hand corner. You can stretch that out a bit. They are a bit easier to see. I'll put it right there. Now up here, little button right there. Here are a few options. There's your different thumbnail sizes right here. 
You can load swatch sets, save swatch sets, replace swatch sets, and once again, there's your preset manager right there. Just click on that, and it'll bring this up. Now, this has some very useful features in here under the swatches. Again, back to that little icon right there, and in here, here's the important one. You can change the color set that's being used, the Mac OS color set, photo filter colors, web hues, web safe colors, web spectrum, or the windows. You can change all of these different styles, different ways of looking at your different color swatches. So depending upon what your needs are, you can have a different set of colors to look at. You can always, of course, reset that back to the defaults as well, which is just that reset option. But here's the Mac OS. The Mac OS also works on Windows machines. This is just the color set that the Mac uses. There's the photo filter colors. And there's the web hue colors right here. They're all web safe colors. There you are, the expanded web safe set. And here's the web spectrum. A lot more colors to work with as you can see in here. And then down here is the Windows color set as well. I'll just set mine back to the defaults. But this does allow you to choose these different color sets and then see that over here. Let's just do the Mac OS and choose Done. And notice how the color swatches resets itself to match that new color set. We'll open that back up again. And that's right there in Preset Manager. And then I'll set that back to the default setting and choose Done. So a very useful tool there. One of the reasons why you may want to take a look at that Preset Manager is to be able to have different swatch sets in the color swatches. Okay, I'll just bring that back up again. And look at our next one over here is going to be gradients. And that's using the gradient tool, which is right over there. Okay, let's just close this down. Here we go. So here's our gradient tool. And if we go over here, you click on this little icon right there, little arrow. This shows you your default sets for your gradients. You can change this set. These are your presets. You can change this by that arrow right here, little drop down. And you have different options again in here, different sets of gradients, depending upon what you may want to be working with. Let's say I wanted to have the Color Harmonies 1 come up as my default gradient set. Again, there's that icon right there. Click on that, and then come down and choose Preset Manager. Here it is, and it's showing this one right now in the gradients. So I can then change what's being displayed. Click on this little icon right here, and here again are my different color sets. That's Color Harmonies 1, here's Color Harmonies 2. There's the default again. Let's do Color Harmonies 2 and choose done. Now when I click on this little arrow right there, I'm seeing those color harmonies over here. So you can change the preset or what's showing when you first open this up by using that preset manager. Our options in here, again we can change the display, large thumbnail or small thumbnail, small list or large list. I'll leave it at large thumbnail, it works out well for the gradients in here. And again here are all of your basic options for your gradients. And we can also can append sets onto this and add and you have more sets combined into one as well and rename that set, save it as a new set. The basic options that are available here for all of your presets. But there it is, that's looking at the gradients. Now next time we have styles, let's look at that. Go over here, bottom right hand corner, we have our different buttons, layers, effects, filters, styles right there, graphics and more. Click on styles and what we see in here are the bevels right there. That's the top option. Once again, there's that same little icon just up here this time, and there's the preset manager. Again, this is just a shortcut. You can always go back and open it up under the edit menu and preset manager right there. It does the same thing. It brings the same dialog box up. So let's look at our styles, and there we go. That's the styles that we're seeing when this first opens up over here on the right-hand side. Click on that little icon here again, and here are all of your different style sets, complex, drop shadows, glass buttons, image effects, inner glows and so forth. And in here, you can click on any of those sets and you can then choose to add to this if you want to. Just choose a new set if you have some new styles available. I don't have anything available right now, but you can choose and add in more or you can delete a set if you want to. So you have those options available to you. You can do similar work over here, little drop down right there. You can load your styles right here, reset styles, delete bevels. This is that currently open style in here. There's a preset manager. You also can show or hide the names, and you can apply that. And then we have the different display settings in here. That's your small thumbnail, medium thumbnail, and your large thumbnail right there. Now, since this is a panel and not a tool, like our last two that we took a look at, 
it works a little bit differently. If I open the preset manager up here, notice that I have this showing when I first open this up, but it's not what I'm seeing when this is opened up over here. So it works a little bit differently than that. I can't choose what my default is to show over here, but I still can work with the different sets in here very easily. Okay, next we have the patterns. Now patterns are applied with the paint bucket as fills. You can also paint in patterns. They, they show up in a few different places. Let's take a look at this one. Left hand side we have our paint bucket right here. Let's just close this down and go to the paint bucket. And you have two options with your paint bucket using paint, like you know your standard foreground color, or using your patterns right there. And what you're seeing down here, this is your default set of your patterns. Now this is a tool so it's going to work as our other tools did. Again, that little icon right there, click on that. And you can come in here, you can change your view, text only, small, large thumbnail, small, large list, reset your patterns, load in new patterns, replace patterns. And then again, there's your preset manager. Let's bring this up. There it is. And again, there's a little icon right there. Click on that. And here are the different pattern sets available. Artist surfaces, color paper, there's your default. Grayscale, Natural Patterns, Patterns 2, Patterns, Rock Patterns, Texture Fill 2, and Texture Fill. Say I want to work with my Natural Patterns, they're right here. Or if I want to change this to the Artist Surfaces, that's right there. Choose Done. And if I click on this arrow, that brings up this window. And by default, it's now showing me those Artist Surfaces. So again, this is being displayed based upon the settings in that Preset Manager. And again, that's right down here. I'll just go ahead and reset this one to the default reset patterns, and there it is. Okay, next up we have our effects, and they're right down here. Let me just close this down, get that out of the way. There's the effects. There are a few effects in here where you have the faded photo glow monotone painting and so forth. Now this again is a panel set, so this will work very much like these styles did. And right there, it'll pop out again. You can change the view in here. You can load or reset your effects. And once again, there's your preset manager. And here are the options as well. Faded photo glow, monotone color painting panels, seasons. There's a seasonal look right there. There's our texture effect and painting effects. There's on here, all we can do is simply add in more of these if we happen to have those. Now these are actions right there. You can see it's an action set down there. So if you had actions, you could load them into here it would then show up in this set. So there you go. That's working with the preset manager. And again, the easy way to get to that, if you're not on a specific tool, is just go up to the edit menu, come down to preset manager right here, and you have all of your different presets available right down there. For me, the most useful really is just the brushes and the swatches. Or I may want to have a different brush set showing up by default, and I may want to, with the swatches, use a different color set. So let's just change the brushes here. I'll go to the assorted brushes. There it is. And then we'll go over here to the swatches. And let's change our swatch set, color set here to windows. And done. And now I've changed those two settings. And those will now come up as the first choices when I go to either the brushes or to the swatches. So again, there it is. Edit and the preset manager. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Click on share and click on subscribe as well. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And again, there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.